Welcome to another edition of Carbs on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in the car and BS while consuming carbs. Matt Zion here. We're finally doing a huge request. So, I was going to start the video by going, Dame, 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 uh, in uh, honor of Dame Drops, who uh, I think this is like his very first big video. But we're doing five guys. And uh, we have in and out that's close by my house. Five Guys is a little further away. It's in uh, West Covina, California. It's the closest one that I know. I think there's one in like Rancho, Ontario. I'm not really sure. But I was out this way and I was passing by. The traffic was terrible. And so I was going to kill some time by doing Five Guys. And that sounded horrible. Do not take that <laughs> sentence out of context. I just got a regular cheeseburger. So it's going to have cheese. I had them put uh, mayo, mustard, and ketchup on it. And uh, we're going to compare and see. Because I've never actually had... A burger from there both times I've ate there once I had their like they were like cheese fries and they were good and I also had a, a grilled cheese sandwich and it was good but I've never like seen the true hype between five guys because I've never really had their actual burgers and that's what they're known for so I got this bad boy right here I believe it was like six seven dollars for this burger uh, it's, it's bigger than in and outs so I do give it that and they put a way more cheese on it and uh, it looks really good and I hope that's good we're gonna find out right now. I feel super fat. I just came from doing another review. But we're here. We're doing it. Five guys. Cheeseburger. Let's find out if it's better or at least on par with In-N-Out. Who knows? That's what we're gonna find out. It's really good. I do have one complaint. There's gonna be some people that are like, no oh, dare you. It does have a slight hint of a uh, quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. It kind of tastes like it. Granted, it's a much tastier version. I can already tell that their meat is a billion times tastier than McDonald's. I think they might use the same type of, uh, like, probably ketchup. Because it's a ketchup is the taste that I'm getting from it that's similar to McDonald's. This thing is greasy as hell. It is just, like, I'll push the bread in. And you can just see it going, like, do you want to lift, bro? And I'm like, no, Five Guys cheeseburger. I don't want to lift. I am huge. So let's get one more bite. That's what the inside looks like, though. Not, not much to be told on the story of five guys. Just a straight up good cheeseburger. The other thing too is you can take advantage of their menu. Um, you can add as much of the condiment things, the options they have. They have like jalapenos and jalapenos and punos and I don't know, none of those things were real except for the first one. But there's a huge list of things that you can put on here and they don't charge extra for it. So that's actually pretty cool. Let's get one more bite. That certainly is death. I would say this is probably on par with In-N-Out. I think that they're about the same for me, and for different reasons. I think In-N-Out's flavor isn't as good as this. Like, this flavor is really good. But I think In-N-Out's uh, texture of its overall burger is better. They, like, had a baby, and it was five guys in and out You'd have a lot of <laughs> offspring running around. But this is good. I do like it. I can see why people do come here a lot. It was uh, fairly busy in there, so I, you know, there's are, there are people that love this on a regular basis. It's just there's not one close by my house, so I'm not going to be going there all the time. But, you know, if I'm around here by the mall, I would probably get it again. I would rate this thing a high four out of five. It's good. But, uh, I yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's good, but uh, it's not as hype-worthy as people say it is. Sometimes I feel like restaurants that get overly hyped, it hurts them. In this case... I think it holds up pretty well though. So that's that guys, that is the Five Guys Cheese Burger. And uh, if you had before, which a lot of our fans have, because a lot of them saw Dame Drops review and went in there, I think Dame Drops did really good business for Five Guys. But if you had them, what is your favorite thing to get on the menu if you get like a cheeseburger hamburger? What do you put on it? I wanna know all the different options. Maybe I'll go back eventually and we'll do some sort of challenge. But that's that. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating. We'll see you on the next one.